Hello and welcome to Ricochet Gaming. My name is Daniel and today we'll be continuing a let's play of Comarian. So as you can see we're riding downstairs in the elevator, leaving the first floor of the base behind, so I believe we're underground now. Is that a door? Sort of tree here. Oh, just need to put my light on here. Biology lab. Let's not go in there just yet. It's stuck. I want to check these doors first. It's stuck. They're probably all stuck, but let's check it just to be sure. No? Okay. It's stuck. Whoa! Oh, damn. <laughs> Is he gone? What a douche. Was that what those levers were? Looks like I need something to no? get this elevator to work. But with the tower and the bottle limbs of the base camp equipment and parts for the portable submarines being transported to the first campsite. Okay. So, I guess this lever must be somewhere around down here. Where we came from, the floor elevator. Depot, yeah, that, that seems like the place to go. It's stuck. Okay, no. So maybe in the biology lab, let's go then. Upward. Yeah, awesome. It's awfully quiet in here. Locked. Well, of course. Cylinder. Origin of the Canarium. Canarium. Device of extraterrestrial origin. Unfortunately, one of our researchers, C. Lenning, was found dead in the biolab last Tuesday. The cause of death is currently uncertain, but judging by the accumulation of a mass of green substance found in his mouth and throat area. Dr. Barlow, our botany expert, thinks that Lenning was smothered by small, sticky, greenish clumps that look like pollen belonging to the living samples of the plant Sahiti, which is thought to have become extinct during the Paleozoic era. Dr. DeWitt will perform a post-mortem examination on his body soon. What? Have they marked on here? Oh, I 
I've seen these drawings before, actually, or something that looked like them. <clears throat> An old um, Russian book, I believe it is, the Voynich Manuscript. It's categorized among um, one of the more popular occult books, along with the fictional uh, Necronomicon, which Lovecraft invented. they talked about. Can I pit it? No? So it just does nothing? Yeah, that's the freezer over here I checked out, I think. Can't do anything. Oh, okay, so that's what that was for. Okay. Okay, come on, back away. It's obviously not friendly. <coughs> right, so we're poisoned now. Okay, that was creepy. But the door opened. Thank you. Ah, that's oh, just a plant. Okay. Is it gonna do anything to me? No. That's probably the thing we saw a picture oh, of earlier. Yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Yeah, please stay frozen. Oh, there's a body in here. Who is this? It's impossible to determine with so much decomposition. Oh, but... Hi, a key. Something else. I'm talking about some kind of monolith. We're sampling the rock art of the Sahara Desert in the there are some symbols also found in southeast Syria. What, seriously? You call that decomposition? Look at him. That, that's not decomposition. His eyes are still shut, seriously. So I'm guessing the key must be for this locked room down here. Whoa! What was that? Weird. Yeah! Cool. 
Uh. What is that? It's a statue of him. Okay. <laughs> what the F? I believe no more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores for there are things that cannot be undone. I think you should retire to your room. I I am hey, going yeah, to think that? a bit more. Well, where's my room? Oh, there's door here. Do I live here? Locked. I'm having some kind of vision, so it's probably limited as to what I can do. It's locked. Just as I thought. Okay, what the? Oh, creepy. No! Oh, I'm back here again. Oh, that's quite detailed. That's it, that's the book. <coughs> yeah, pronunciation of the sizes. Read. Oh. Wonder when I'm gonna be able to actually open a book. Hey! Maybe that's the one, uh, one we need for the, uh, yeah, the lever. We need that for the elevator, probably. I think elevator. Another sketchbook. I believe that these wooden puppets of gold were used to carry out some tasks for their masters, just like they give you your sheep. Shot to you, funerary figurines which are servants of their owner in the hereafter. Okay. Okay, Take this as a trophy. I kind of want it. it. Looks cool. The other city rooms, Cyclopean City, Mountains of Madness again. Yeah. Again, a reference to the Lovecraft novella. So let's uh, head onward to that elevator thing here, depot. Floor, the uh, link elevator, I believe it was. Yeah. Why is it so dark? Hey. Hi. I don't know if you can hear me, but I am trying to search it. The only way. Hey! Hey, can you hear me? I don't like his voice. Damn it! Who was he? Come on, can I close the door? Yeah. Let's see. Cavern entrance. Uh, let's head to the the tower up top first. Because that sounds pretty limited. And it says something about a campsite and such downwards. So. <laughs> Oh, 
let's see, it might, uh, I might have to backtrack anyway and, and go downstairs and then back to the tower. But. Uh, this looks pretty serious, but we'll find out. Oh, my lamp is back. Awesome. Let's grab that then. On a mental metallic object. Uh. That's a man. This is amazing. Most of the ground level structures have been crumbled and rounded from untold eons of savage storms. And thus weathered into shapeless ruins. However, both the ground level and the cavern systems below are clearly displayed in these bas reliefs. The most striking features depicted in this grand panorama, I believe, are the tall, occasional towering spires, which somehow resemble a lighthouse. They all seem like focusing a light beam towards a colossal structure in the center. Hmm. Could there be some sort of religious meaning behind this? Or simply something that has a more practical use? I'm not sure. Oh, where did he go? Oh. This is the strong life that can be seen from ground level. Okay, so I'm guessing that was just it. Let me look here. A little cutscene and then the thing we picked up here. I'm taking a chance here. So let's hit down instead. And one more time of blade. Let's go to the cavern entrance. Okay, this seems like a good place to stop for, uh, for now. As always, if you enjoyed the episode, please like and subscribe and come back to see the next one.